What's up guys, I'm back once again to show you some of the hot mods of the week and in this week's episode we have a couple of brand new weapon mods as well as a brand new armor mod. Now if you've spent any amount of time modding Fallout 4 then you've probably run into the MCM or the mod configuration menu and if you've been modding Fallout 4 for any considerable amount of time you'll notice that your MCM can get a bit slow when you start to fill it full of mods and with this next mod we're going to be decreasing that load time with MCM Booster. Now this is generally what my MCM load times looked like before I downloaded this mod. And this is now what it looks like after I downloaded this mod. And as you can see, there is a pretty large and noticeable difference between the two. Now if you only have one or two mods in the MCM, this really isn't an issue. It's only when you start getting into the double digits that the load time starts to become noticeable. So if your MCM load time is starting to become a bit too long, then maybe this mod is worth a download. And this week's armor mod is the Valkyrie armor, and you can acquire this armor from any chem station under the Valkyrie armor section, which you can craft for a small amount of crafting materials and requiring no perks. And as for protection, the armor is going to offer you 30 ballistic resistance and 10 fire resistance. The gloves are going to offer you 6 ballistic resistance and 10 fire resistance. And finally, the helmet is going to offer you 12 ballistic resistance and 5 energy resistance as well as 1 perception. And in terms of upgrades, the armor has a choice of ballistic weave and 10 different paint colors. The gloves have a choice of left bracer on or off. And finally, the helmet has a choice of visor up or down. Now this mod is a standalone armor for the up and coming Galactic Mercs and Music. So if you'd like to get a sneak peek of this upcoming content, then I would highly recommend downloading this mod and trying it for yourself. And of course, this week's weapon mod is the Borchad C93, and you can acquire this weapon from weapon vendors, Minutemen and Gunners, or you can do what I did and open up the console and type in help C93 for WEAP. Here you'll find the weapon's ID code, and by typing player.addItem and the ID code, you'll get your hands on the weapon. And in terms of upgrades, you have the choice of 14 receivers, 4 barrels, 3 grips, 3 magazines, 3 sights, 10 muzzles, 6 damage options to balance the weapon, and finally, 2 melee attachments. Now not only does this weapon have a considerable amount of upgrades, but it's also an ESL flagged ESP, so it's not going to take up a slot in your mod limit. Also this mod is going to come in one of two files, a main file and a secondary main file that's going to limit the weapon to vendors and boss loot only. Now the next mod I have for you is the M84 flashbang and you can craft these at any chem station under the grenade section for a small amount of crafting materials and requiring no perks. Now these flashbangs are capable of blinding and paralyzing more than 20 different creatures in the game. Everything from humans, to mole rats, and even yourself. And since these flashbangs technically don't do any damage, you can even use them on innocent civilians. So if you'd like to get an even more in-depth list of which creatures these grenades are going to work on, then feel free to check out the mod page, or you could just download it and try it for yourself. Now all the way back in episode 56, we took a look at the Glock 19X pistol, and now we have an add-on mod for said weapon mod, and of course, I'm talking about Glock 19X tweaks and fixes, and what this mod is going to do is tweak the Glock 19X with manual level list injection, instead of the manual level list injection, sort out some of the quality of life, and fix a couple of bugs. Now to be more specific as to what this mod does, it's going to disable scripted level list injection and all other startup scripts, remove all lower rail attachments, agency receivers, and the cheat damage modifier, provide manual level list edits and custom weapon templates, adjust names of weapon attachments, and lastly is going to adjust perk requirements for the attachment crafting recipes and that is just all of the big stuff. If you would like to read even more detail then I highly recommend that you check out this mod. And of course the final weapon mod for this week's episode is the Modern Warfare AUG and you can acquire this weapon from weapon vendors, gunners and railroad agents after level 28 and legendaries will start sporting after level 30 or you can do what I did 
and open up the console and type in help AUG 4 WEAP. Here you'll find the weapon's ID code and by typing player.addItem and the ID code you'll get your hands on the weapon. And in terms of upgrades you have the choice of 15 receivers, 4 barrels, 4 stocks, 4 magazines, an impressive 19 sights, 9 muzzles, 4 lasers, 4 reticles and finally a choice of 4 colours. Now if you didn't already know this is the AUG from Modern Warfare 2019 but the attachment system for this weapon was supposed to have a vanilla feel whilst having every attachment have a specific use for some point of the game. So if you enjoyed this weapon in Call of Duty as much as I did in Fallout 4 then I would highly recommend downloading this mod. And with that, that's going to wrap things up for this mod, and the video for that matter. I hope you all enjoyed the mods here today, and if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all in the next video.